So in my last video, I was playing around with some of my stoves that I had, and I was kind of researching to see what, how much some of those old stoves that I have, or if they were still available, and how much they cost. So I went on Amazon, and there were a lot of very cheap or inexpensive backpacking stoves that I, you know, back in the day, 10 years ago when I bought most of the stoves I have, really were not available. But this one, this is an, it's a Natu was $12.99 so $13 and I got it yesterday I haven't tried it out yet but it comes in this little plastic box and that's pretty much how it comes it doesn't come wrapped or anything a little sticker on the back and inside you have the stove and really not much else. There's no documentation, there's no instructions, there's nothing uh, else with it. So this is one of those freestanding isobutane stoves. So with the remote where you put the tank remotely. So they tend to be stable. And to my surprise, I thought it was gonna be a lot thinner metal than it is. So to my surprise, it's actually pretty sturdy. So the legs, you flick them out and they click securely. Then you flick the bottom leg out. Okay, and I think you can see there more or less what gauge metal that is. You just flick them around, go there, go there, open up the bottom of the legs. And again, like I said, they, they feel rather solid. They're not loose or anything. So you have your freestanding little camp stove there. Or your backpacking stove there and it does have a little igniter here on the side so i'm going to go ahead and hook it up to the isobutane tank and fire it up for the first time and see if the igniter actually works and what the control is which the control is here it's all like anodized aluminum this little gold parts so i was for 13 dollars 12.99 this is pretty cool so let's go ahead and hook the tank up. Hopefully it won't leak or anything. Yeah, and it fits perfect. All right, it has a little gasket there that seems to be working well. There's the control, you can kind of hear it there. So first thing I noticed is when I tightened it, that O-ring kind of, I don't know if you can see it there. I think you can probably see it better there. The o-ring kind of squished out the side you see that my recommendation it would be don't tighten it too much so let's see if we can do that again a little slower a little more careful and now the o-ring is more even all right so hopefully we'll light this and this won't blow up because of any leaks i don't i don't smell any leaks i'm almost afraid of it Oh, nice. Okay. So, lit up first click. Ooh, that sounds... I can feel the heat all the way out here in my hand. So, wow. Yeah. Lit up first click. So, that was pretty cool. Now, let's go ahead and see how stable a, a pot is on this thing. And... Boil some water. So I'm going to use a Snow Peak titanium cup with about 16 ounces of water. It actually sits very nicely on there. And you can see the extra leg there. So you can use a much larger pot than my Snow Peak. All right, I'm going to go ahead and light it up again. Again, lit up right away. And Looks seems to have really good flame control. Let's put this guy here. I'm gonna go ahead and put a lid on it. And we're gonna time this. So I boiled it about four minutes. And that was at a low setting. I was had the flame adjusted a little lower for the size of the, the cup. Uh, we have a little bigger pan here and you can see it actually holds nice and stable. So that's pretty awesome. And again, for $12.99, I think it's a really, really, really good 
buy. So first impressions, $12.99. I mean, you, you can't go wrong with that. Things I'm a little mm, about is, again, you can see, I thought I had done a little more even, but you can see how this, this gasket seems to be a little weak. And when, as you tighten it, it kind of balloons out. So maybe replacing this with a little better quality gasket. I mean, it didn't fail or anything, but I can see it failing in the long run. Other than that, I'm very impressed with this little stove. Durability, who knows, but if you can get, you know, if it doesn't fail you while you're out camping, that's the main thing. But it seems, like I said, it's really sturdy. Uh, 16 ounces of water, of course, handles it perfect. That's not very heavy. I think it'll easily hold two quarts of water there. And the steel that it's made of is rather rather thick, rather wide. So I think it's, it's a good stove. Uh, no integrated windscreen, so you can, for, you know, you can use your own windscreen that you have maybe from another stove or buy a separate uh, aluminum windscreen to put around the pot in that, which, you know, might cost you another five, six dollars. So twenty dollars for a remote canister backpacking isobutane stove. That is a good deal. So if you do have one of these that you've used long term, let us know how it worked out for you and if you had any problems with it. The reviews on Amazon are really, really good. I think it has four and a half stars long term, who knows, but 13 bucks, it's almost disposable. Good thing would be as an emergency backup stove at home for your emergency kit. You know, you have a canister, you have the stove, and it should work fine for boiling water and making uh, quick meals. So let me know what you think about these little stoves. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe. Thanks for watching.